Hey guys, Super Gadget Guy here. Um, this is an unboxing video of the wireless barbecue thermometer set from ReadyCheck. Um, I don't know if you've seen it before, I unboxed a set uh, of a wireless barbecue thermometer set last year. And uh, I'm buying, I bought another set uh, because the old set has a problem with the range. Um, it says like 150 feet, but it doesn't even do 60 with direct line of sight. Basically going through like maybe one wall, but it's just, the range is not very good. And um, this company, uh, Maverick, released an updated version. So this one's supposed to have double the range, 300 feet. I hope this one gets like 60. That's, I'm hoping this one does. And it has the same two probe, one for the meat and one for the barbecue temperature. I mainly does not use the meat one because it's just kind of weird to have a thing in the meat all the time. I just want to use the, uh, the barbecue temperature to monitor smoke. Basically, uh, when I smoke meat, uh, you want to make sure the temperature stay within certain range, doesn't get too high or too low. You know, if it's too high, the meat gets dry. If it's too low, the uh, the meat doesn't get cooked properly, and you don't want to consume raw meat. You want the perfect temperature between the smoke range. And then today I'm making uh, some beef jerky, so I want to make sure the temperature stays exactly how I like it. I read online that the um, this one also includes a magnetic on the uh, transmitter so that you actually can put it on the body of the barbecue. The old ones, there's not really good place to put it. So, let's see. Oh, actually has a nice little meat temperature guide, that's cool. And this part is magnetic, that's cool. Um, the bad thing is that my fridge is stainless steel, doesn't really stick. So, I'll find some place for it. So you have a very thick, not a booklet, but a magnetic meat temperature guide. Maybe you can put that on the uh, barbecue. And how to use the instruction manual. So here it is. So this is the transmitter, one for the barbecue, one for the food, and has is the uh, uses very small tiny Phillips screwdriver to remove the battery compartment, and has it. Oh, this part is not magnetic. I wonder what it does. However, have a stand for the monitor part. Still, I have no good place to put this. I thought it was magnetic, but it's not. And it has a um, sync button that's also double as a uh, unit change between Celsius and Fahrenheit. An on off button. And it has a fake screen protector that to display 225. So this unit is definitely larger than the old and feels pretty good weatherproofed. So, in case you're wondering, this is the model number ET-732. Right. This is the monitor unit. Feels like the old kind. The monitor unit actually does not have the weather seal, so it's easy to remove uh, bat battery compartment. So let's install the battery unit. And The zero percent mercury HW whatever no brand battery. Battery life is actually pretty good. Whoa, back lid and shows you food temperature and barbecue temperature. And I don't think it's getting a signal. Oh, you know what? That's a fake one. Here we go. Shows nothing because it does not have a signal yet. Okay, so I bet. Oh. So this is the stand for the transmitter unit. I think this part, back part, is magnetic. And you can remove this. And I bet this is magnetic, so let's try it. Since this is magnetic, it is not. It's got to be. But at least with this thing, I can hang it somewhere. I'll give it a try. 
So just mumbling about nothing. So that's the transmitter unit. And this is two probes. I'm not even going to take out the meat probe, just a smoke probe, and there's a um, sort of little stand so you can clip it into the barbecue grate, and it's very durable. Um, the other one, I've used it maybe half a dozen times, and it's still pretty good. Um, the only thing is that it does not look as nice as new once you start using it because the smoke will darken it, the, the probe and the cable considerably. But there's no problem with it, it just does not look pretty. So you can put this in, and this part goes into the barbecue. Cool. So far, at least with the first generation, I found no problem with the battery life. Um, it's just I wish the battery compartment can be easily open. So, yeah. But good thing is that the battery life is pretty good, so you don't need to change it very often. Just make sure you turn it off after every use. So you can see that it's all weather sealed. It's a nice improvement that the, uh, the actual button it's actually outside the battery compartment now. I think the original one, it's inside. Okay, let's turn it on. Okay, the little red light indicator went on and off. Hmm. Okay, let's hold it again. It's on and it's showing 73 degrees. Ooh, it's kind of warm today. 73 Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit is good. Stand on it and this thing has not received it yet. Why are you not receiving? Well, it's a very loud beep. I'm trying to set the temperature range. Let me let me check the manual on why it's not receiving the temperature. the manual so when it's pressed the resync transfer manually terminates the auto registration process press and hold for two seconds to register radio frequency with the receiver turn on the receiver turn on the transmitter Okay, registered. Okay, just need to get the sequence right. So it's showing that. Cool. And if I want to set the high and low temperature of the barbecue. Yeah, they still haven't changed the interface. I mean, the button's a lot nicer than the old generation, but it's frustrating to set this kind of things. It will make it like, oh, this is to adjust. This is up and down button. It's still like one way to increase, and if you missed it, Okay, so the low temperature, you have to set the high one first because the low does not exceed the high. Oh, crap, missed it. So now I can set the low to be 200 because before the high was 175, that's why. So let's set the low to be 200. Okay, so now the high of 300 and the low of 200. So within that range, the alarm will not beep. I should have the backlight. And I actually have a timer. Cool. So I can actually set it to be smoking or to make the beef jerky, let's say four hours. When I do ribs, I do six and a half, seven hours. So that's pretty handy. Hold two seconds to change the mode from temperature mode to how do I turn off the light? So the start and stop. So this is pretty cool. I'll give it a try. Um, the interface is still extremely horrible, but the buttons are a little bit improved uh, than last time, but it's still the same interface. And I don't know the range yet. I hope this beefy looking antenna will give a better range. So I'll give it a try. And if you have any questions, please let me know. And um, press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.